Good morning, everybody, or afternoon, whenever you're seeing this. Hello, I'm Dorothy Morgan, longtime professional astrologer. You can find me at DorothyMorganAstrologer.com. We're going to talk about the astrology for today. Of course, I just said that word three times. May 11th, we're going to go over the astrology for what I see for today. We've got a really fun pattern in the sky. I like the what it looks like. It's called a mystic rectangle. It's fantastic. It works out for most of the day. We have these cards. No, these are astro dice. We're going to talk to them and then we're going to get a card. Just, you know, the usual. I've been doing this since January. So let's get started. Let's turn on the chart, show you the chart that I am looking at. And here it is. Da, 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 da. This is what a mystic rectangle looks like. You see, it looks like a rectangle. And what it is, is it, um, a mystic rectangle. The four corners of it are earth and water zodiac signs. And those are the same polarity, which is the yin, which is receptive, which is understanding, which is taking our time and absorb and observe. That's what it's telling us to do today. The moon in Virgo, yes, it is opposite Neptune as we move through the day. And it's already done its opposition with Mars. Um, so, But you can see the four corners here, earth, water, water, earth. So one side is is water, one sign is earth. All of those signs, those two signs are both the yin, the receptive. So we're able to really connect. And then there's a big um, earth trine in the middle of, this, of the, uh, the chart too. It connects three places. So that earth trine is, is really nice and <clears throat> that's coming into play with the sun making that. It's not quite an exact aspect yet to Pluto. All earth, all water, earth and water, the corners of a mystic rectangle are yin. So that says we can be grounded. One side is earth. The other side is the water. We can be feeling, we can be emotional and we can connect, right? With that higher source or just with the flow of the day. The moon in Virgo is, is very uh, specific and very particular. So if you have a lot of things to do today that are um, detail oriented, then the moon's got your back. The moon will stay in that sign, uh, will stay in the sign of Virgo until in the middle of the night tonight, May 11th into May 12th. And we are coming to the eclipse. That video is already posted. And how are you doing with that Venus and Aries? Venus and Aries, I guess I can go back real quick. I'm tired today. Can you tell my energy is a little lower? Venus and Aries. It's coming close to Chiron. Chiron, I don't have him in yet. Let's go ahead and pop him in. Don't keep all of these guys in here because I try to keep this forecast clean. Yeah, on the day of the eclipse, the Venus and Chiron will be conjunct. Uh-huh. So maybe we're working towards some um, healing in regard to a relationship. We'll talk about that more next time. Let's get the astrology going. I rolled them while I was talking, but let's get a message from spirit. So, or you can ask a question now, if you have something specific that you really want to know, just for yourself and you can hit pause and then think what is, what would I, I just want, I always like to know what a spirit need me to know out, you know, which is in addition to the astrology that I already look at Jupiter in Taurus in the third house. So, oh, I like Jupiter in Taurus. That's fantastic. We can spend a lot of money when Jupiter's in the side of Taurus. Mm -hmm. we can be very abundant with our with our love very abundant with our money <clears throat> when it's in the third house that third house is about communicating information so i would i would tell us that overall the energy of that is represented by um, an expansion of what i value what i love even how i use my skills to earn a living, to earn money. I mean, we all need money. That's just the way it is. And, um, and it's in the third house. So it has to do with more writing, whether it's newsletters, whether it's this type of communication here, I'm sharing information with you. Um, whether it's publishing a workbook, publishing a calendar, whatever it is, it's content, words, written or verbal content shared with the world. And because it's something that you value, it's absolutely something that you value. That's what Taurus represents. And you can even make some money at it. 
there's that. There's always more on Patreon. Patreon is where you can come and financially support me. <coughs> and I would appreciate that because this is what I do. This is everything I've been doing for a few decades now. You're welcome to come and support me there if you would like. Lots of different things to choose from. Same thing on my website, private sessions, and I do a lot of mentoring. I don't have any automated classes. I don't have any of those video classes. I guess I should probably do something, but I've never been drawn to do it. I'll help you decipher all that information you have. That's my specialty. I love it. All right, let's get cards want us to know. What did the cards feel like choosing? Oh, a two came out. Nature Spirits and Thunder Drum. All right. The Thunder Drum, I like that one. They, I think both came out at the same time, so I have to choose them both. Thunder Drum reminds me that, you know, there are times when, when we worry about stuff, we, you, me, all of us, where we get anxious or we need to do something. <laughs> the Thunder Drum is about getting back into sync with your own self to your present moment, to bring yourself back to spirit, you know, to, to the earth, honestly. The next one is, is about nature spirits. But this one to start with. So when we're feeling nervous and anxious, you know, just right here on the chest, on the sternum, just that thump, thump that the heartbeat makes brings you right back into here. All right. Solar plexus. Well, so flexes is a little further down, but this is the heart chakra. Keeps us grounded, especially if we're feeling nervous and anxious about something, okay? And then nature spirits. I love this one. I just, I can't. The woods are getting buggy. <laughs> now the black flies are starting to come out. However, this is so beautiful. I have a face net I can wear. Um, just going out and, and just getting into nature and just connecting with those spirits and connecting with the, your higher self and with your own spirit and just, you know, bringing it back to you, bringing it back to you. The world gets really noisy and busy and scary sometimes. So just bring it back to you and, um, and life will feel better. And, you know, it doesn't mean there isn't, you know, what happening. There's all kinds of crap happening in the world and in our lives from outside sources and even from internal sources. And there's a lot of internalizing going on, but there's a lot that is coming to the surface as well, especially with the Scorpio eclipse that we have coming up. The South Node has been in Scorpio for quite some time now, quite a few months. And so these eclipses, um, the last two, the one we just went in Taurus on April 30th and the one coming up on um, Sunday night, in Scorpio and the South Node remains in Scorpio for another year. So the South Node collectively uh, in the sign of Scorpio is for us to collectively um, allow these things that are here deep to, to come to the surface. So we're able to really see what, what evil, not evil, why did I say evil? Well, maybe, maybe I meant to, um, you know, what evil is, is coming to the surface. So we're able to shine the light on it. And then personally, I like to stick with the personal stuff, not, not, not anything political, but bringing it into your own personal world. What needs to come up that you have, you know, fear or, or nervous about, or just need some healing. And again, Venus and Chiron are coming together pretty soon. They come together on the day of the eclipse as a conjunction that happens once a year. That's Venus. It's trek through the solar system is pretty quick. Since it's right next to us, right next to the, to the sun. So anyways, take care. I'm going to leave us with that. Thank you guys so much. Um, you can support me here on YouTube just by sharing this with your social media groups. I really appreciate it. Numbers are finally starting to climb. I've had 100 new members come in over the last six weeks, which is subscribers, which is really, which is good. I haven't had any growth in a couple of years. So yay. Thank you, everybody. I'm really grateful for you sharing and commenting and supporting me by just clicking and sharing and all of that. Anyways, <laughs> I'm repeating myself now. Have a great day, everybody. I will see you tomorrow. Blessings and namaste.